I think in uh, all that time, in, at Harvard particularly, uh, in Professor Conan's course, I never heard of Gropius. But Gropius was there, so that was good. And I never heard of uh, Frank Lloyd Wright in his course. No, they didn't talk about that. And Gropius did not think history was so important. He uh, thought that we were better grounded in basic design and understanding collaboration rather than knowing all what had gone on in the past. Walter Chambers uh, taught grading, and Walter Chambers was a stickler for precision, for delivering your projects on time, uh, for um, doing your work uh, so that it was very legible in presentation, and he had very difficult projects at times, such as a clover leaf. It's not an easy thing to grade. Uh, at first we did just little roads, and then we had the runoff and uh, the ditches and whatnot. But when it became more complicated, it was a clover leaf. Well, I saw in the clover leaf immediately that there were possibilities for abstract design, namely mounds in the clover leaf, uh, or hillocks, or planting even. and. Uh, that needed a different analysis than just grading out a clover leaf with a 5% slope down on a 6% up or whatever. And he, uh, he liked this very much. And so he said, you, Miss Hahn, just go sculpt the earth. Yeah. Tanat arrived at Harvard, and he was my professor in my last semester. And he wrote this fantastic book about uh, the landscape and the view. And he told me a lot of interesting background, how in Sweden and other countries people had understood that the landscape and the building must work together. And then I saw, when I saw the house in Sussex with that long walk and the terrace, and then the trellis work where you look through to get the landscape beyond. Then I caught on what this was all about. And Lester Collins uh, opened the mind to the small garden, Japanese garden. The time, most worthwhile time, was spent to talk to architects because I realized that unless we collaborate and find or achieve a fit for the building and the site, we would not be able to be successful. And that really is why I've worked mostly with architects.